Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. What a day today to start the work week off with temperatures breaking records. The warmth really did feel nice and we have really melted so much snow across the area as we enjoyed some beautiful sunsets across the area with some clouds mixing into the region as well. First alert weather day on Wednesday. We're going to start with an update on the track and timing of our cold air and snow. First of all, tomorrow we're going to break uh, and maybe even obliterate in some cases <laughs> those records once again. But then by tomorrow night, we'll start seeing temperatures falling into the 30s and we will not recover for several days. So north winds are going to pull the cold air into the valley, still a little milder down toward the Twin Cities. So as we go through your Wednesday, rain toward the Twin Cities, but snow in our area developing midday. And by the time we get to drive time for your Wednesday evening, it'll be pushing into Fargo Point South and Lakes Country. The best chance for anything heavy is where you see the dark blue shades. And look at this. It comes with quite an abundant amount of north winds, cold and windy. No snow at all in our northern and northwestern counties in the Devil's Lake Basin. And this system will exit as we go through the overnight hours. And by Thursday morning, we'll have a chance at seeing a trace to an inch for many Fargo all the way up in towards uh, Bemidji and the Red Lakes areas. Then one to two inches with isolated heavier amounts possible in that two to four inch range. This will be that white slushy heavy type of snow. We'll keep you posted as to any adjustments to the track, but that's Wednesday. Cold for all, snow for some. 47 now in Fargo at Hector. 48 at your airport in Moorhead with a southeast wind still around 10 to 15 miles per hour. And because it will blow all night, our temperatures are not going to change much by morning. 43 right now uh, for you in Faustin, 42 in Thief River Falls. Bedette at 43, 40 for Grand Forks, and 45 still in Sisseton, in Gwinter, and not far from that in Jamestown. We have snow showers from the greatest of falls out in the Rockies of Montana all the way up to Regina where there's warm enough air for some rain showers in parts of uh, Saskatchewan as we head into the evening hours. Now for us, we just have a few clouds and those southeast winds. Your hour by hour forecast shows temperatures pretty steady to slowly falling as we go through the overnight hours. Clouds moving through and the wind will stay. And some of us by morning will see that wind pick up and become gusty. So these gusty south winds are going to bring the warmth. Once again, as we go through midday, many of us will be right back at the 60s. These would break record temperatures in Fargo and Grand Forks as we head into the midday hour. The afternoon brings even more warmth. We're into the 60s and even look at this. Look at this 70s in the Southern Valley. But look up in the upper left hand corner. That blue is snow showers, 30s marching down. Notice the wind shift by the afternoon. Northwest winds will be gusty and they're tugging cold air our way while the snow ugh, goes up towards Winnipeg. So we don't have uh, Tuesday night snow. That's not until Wednesday, but the cold air will begin arriving in earnest on your Tuesday night. Your Fargo planner for Tuesday shows 40s rising into the mid 60s and in the evening hours northwest winds gusty with falling temperatures and take a look at this snapshot at four o'clock. The blues 30s to near 40 degrees, 50s in the green, 60s in yellows, 70s in oranges, a little bit of everything across our area sure is colorful. This is colorful as well. Sherry capturing this beautiful spring shot. Let's get right to that seven day planner. Uh, record breaking Tuesday. First alert weather day Wednesday. Cold for all. Windy, gusty with snow accumulating south and east. 44 on Thursday. Quiet Friday and right through your weekend with temperatures not too bad. Another first alert weather day hoisted by our team because we've got this coming as we go into the day on Monday. This is a bigger storm and it comes with some wind. We'll keep you posted on this one, but there could be some substantial snow and wind coming with it to start your week one week from now. Andrea. All right. Thanks, Hutch.